Hello, my name is Susie Rowland and I'm an author and founder of the Happily in School project. And I thought I'd share some suggestions with you today for Children's Mental Health Week. So here goes. So idea number one, be your own best friend. And what I mean by that is speaking to yourself as a best friend would talk to you. So when you have those sort of ideas in your head and it's going round and round and you're saying, I don't feel good, I'm, I'm not good enough, I'm rubbish at this, I haven't got any friends. Be that person that says to yourself, actually, I'm a really nice person and I do have some friends and I'm okay and I'm good at doing maths and dancing and ice skating and trampolining. And just be that person to yourself to reflect back the good things about who you are and what you're like. And it might just help to quieten down, dampen down that negative little voice on your shoulder. Idea two, um, help someone out. Do something kind and helpful for someone else. So some ideas there would be um, helping somebody with their shopping, help an elderly neighbour, or help a, a child, a younger brother even, or sibling with their homework, um, help somebody with their gardening or washing cars, whatever it is, or do some charity work or volunteering. All those things are really nice things to do. And they improve your mental health because they take you into the community and you get talking and sharing and you can offload some of your worries. And also, Doing a kind thing actually makes you sometimes have a sense of perspective about what your worries and concerns are. So that's a really nice thing to do. Idea number three is to, ah, it's about social media. And I'm going to say not use it less or don't use it at all. I'm just going to say use it carefully, particularly when you're responding to posts or writing messages or in chat groups it can all get a bit heated and personal. So one thing you can do for your own mental health and other people's mental health is, before you type it out, write it out. And I literally mean write it out on a piece of paper and show somebody else and get them to read it back to you to tell you how it sounds. And the reason why that's important is sometimes you can just bash something out and that's how you feel in that moment. And it can be really hurtful for the person receiving it um, when you've already moved on and forgotten about it or didn't remember what you said. So it's a good thing to it's a good thing to practice is um, taking a second before you hit send, and that safeguards your own mental health and that of your friends and peers and other people around you who may actually be upset or struggling long after you sent that comment. So something to think about. Idea number four is called creating a golden circle. And what I mean by golden circle, it hasn't literally got to be a circle, although you can get a piece of paper and write, draw a huge circle and call it your golden circle. And then in that circle, put all the things that make you feel, things, people, places that make you feel happy, safe, loved, excited, fun. So it could be things like going to the cinema, curling up with some hot chocolate, having a game of football with your friends, um, going swimming, it could be a walk in the park, it could be stroking your dog, anything at all, um, or and your special people, and write them all in that golden circle. And look at it often and think about it. And when you're having a really difficult time Look at your golden circle and think about, well, what would I like to do? Where would I like to be? Who makes me feel happy? What makes me feel happy? And hopefully, when you need it, you've got a nice selection of things there to choose from that might help you help your mood. Um, and the last one, idea number five, is I want to move it, groove it. Move it, groove it. What I mean by that is just get moving Move your body however you want to move it, stretching, yoga, dancing, anything at all, any movement or physical activity, 
really helps your mental health because through your central nervous system, your, your mind and your body are connected. And that means you get more oxygen in the brain and your brain releases a couple of hormones that make you feel really good. Oxytocin, sorry, serotonin and dopamine. And that means that you are feeling naturally more optimistic and more connected to other people. So make sure you keep moving and see how you feel. Thanks for listening and take care of yourselves.